welcome to another AV Properties house tour. Bonjour! Comfortable and casual elegance that's never ostentatious. That's what this French-inspired property is all about. Welcome to another AV Properties house tour. And today, we're going to explore together this brand new two-story house with a splendid view of the courtyard inside the exclusive village of South Forks. Before we start our house tour, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties official YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. My name is Apple Grace and let's start the house tour. Let's go, follow me. Okay, so this property sits on a 295 square meter lot area with a total floor area of 300 okay let me correct myself it's 225 square meter of lot area okay so here we are in our elevated porch so as you can see the porch is framed by this two giant columns and then on the left side okay let's check out first your covered two-car carport then we have a paved pathway that will lead us to our elevated platform which is which has a door that gives us an access to the auxiliary kitchen and then this way right here would be our dirty kitchen and then the lanai Um, it wraps around the house, it's opened. So now, I will be asking you to follow me again as we check out the opposite end of this property, which is the beautiful and lush landscape garden that extends to the side. So here it is. So you have an amazing view of the courtyard in front of you, and then you have your very own lush and landscape garden. Let's check out what's on the other side okay so this will lead us to your lanai that has a view of what's inside the house and then of course we meet again with the first view that we had earlier so you have your um, back garden and then this could be again an extension of your lanai okay so we have a double entry door Let's open it up. Okay, this one won't open, but this one is a double entry door. So welcome to your foyer. So this is a sizable amount of a foyer, not your usual tiny foyer. So this part right here, so this is a bare wall. So it actually gives you a lot of space or room to play around with this one. So this could be a perfect art um, wall or a picture wall. So it totally depends on you. And then on this side, you can spruce this space up by, you know, ornamenting it with plants or whatever, you know, whatever suits your fancy. And then as we walk into the main event of the first level of this property, so you have an open floor layout of your living area and right behind me would be your dining area but let me direct your attention over here. So this would be the focal point of your living space. So you have this framed um, wall right here, and then you have this beautiful tiled wall. So this one is really nice. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this one as we climb up to the second level. So you have a lot of storage space, and then a lot of space for you to put up your entertainment appliances to entertain yourselves or your guests and your visitors. Nice, right? So now guys, um, you've seen the 
the open floor layout. Let me just show you that. So this house is equipped with air conditioning units. All the bedrooms have them. Now we're gonna be checking out the first bedroom out of the four. So this is bedroom number one on the first floor. So what's nice about this is you have a view of, I will always mention this one, the courtyard that's so lush and refreshing to the eyes and you have your very own front garden too. So I would recommend that this would be your office or a reading area. And if you have kids, then this would be a perfect spot for them to study or a playroom. Agree? Or if you have your Lolo, your Lola, your elderlies, then this is the perfect bedroom for them so they don't have to go up and down the stairs to go to their rooms. So you have your toilet and bath on suite right now. We don't have the electricity yet. So you have your shower, you have your water closet, your floating sink, no vanity mirror yet, but it will be ready when you guys move in. We have your shelves and your built-in closet. That is bedroom number one, a den or could be converted into an office. Totally up to you. And now guys, please follow me as we check out this charming open kitchen. So what I like about this one is it's like a u-shaped kitchen so what's nice about it is um there's a lot of counter space for you to work on and it's not eating up a lot of space in the in the house so here you could um prep up over here or the kids could actually use this one as a breakfast table and then you have a view of the outside your lanai and like what i said you could you know spice it up or spruce up the look of your lanai area and then you have your double sink you have your windows for ventilation you have a lot of exposed shelves where you could um, decorate it with your maybe abaca inspired or rattan inspired decorations it's all the hype right now and then you have a lot of storage spaces right here and what i like about um the design or the materials they use is it's wood elements so it goes well with um, the focal point of your living area which is framed wood and then you have your more drawers and the spot would be for your single door refrigerator correct <laughs> and then after this charming open kitchen guys to the auxiliary kitchen so you have a lot of space to prep up now that maybe you have guests coming over the house and then you have a view of your dirty kitchen or your service area so just open up the awning window for ventilation and then more storage space or pantry right here yeah And then this door, I think this was the one that we opened up earlier. Yeah. So it leads us to the service and utility area going to the carport. And after the service kitchen, guys, follow me as I lead you to the... This is the staff room. So what I like about this is they have their built-in cabinet. They have a nice uh, a window and then they get to enjoy their very own ensuite toilet and bath so they don't have to go out anymore now this is like their personal space and then after that one okay so this is our so again no electricity yet this is the powder room so what i like about the powder room is they um designed this one so i like the the tile um, options that they chose so this one is really nice so what's lacking is the vanity mirror so that's it and then of 
course, your personal touches when you finally um, arrive here in your brand new home. And then, going up the stairs, you would find a lot of space beneath it. So this could be enclosed or you could leave this one open. It depends on how you want to use this space right here. So this could be a storage area or maybe a little nook if you have kids, like a reading space maybe, right? Okay, so now I'll be inviting you to the second floor. Let's go. Hey guys, so right behind me, you see that gorgeous wall cladding, like what I mentioned earlier from the living area, which is, um, I pointed out the focal point of, you know, the living area. So here it is. Right, so like what I told you, I promise you'll be seeing a lot of that wall cladding around the house. So here we are on the second floor. So this is the landing area. This could be a nice little nook to set up a little couch maybe for you and your family to have an intimate spot where no visitors can interrupt you. Uh, we have three bedrooms on this floor. So we will be checking out the first bedroom on the second floor. Technically, this is bedroom number two. Okay, so you have your built-in cabinet and I like that they also included an exposed shelf so that could be um, a space where you could put your stuff where you need to get ASAP or maybe mementos from your travels. Okay, so you have windows, you have your AC and I love the tray ceiling design. So it's a perfect contrast of the black paint and the white walls and ceiling. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with me. And here we are. Okay, this is your toilet and bath. Let's go. <laughs> it's kind of dark, but I'm ilaw. Okay, what I like about this one is um, the black metal frame of the enclosure going to the shower. So you can actually, um, use it up to contrast with gray, with white, with cream, and it's going to, you know, really amp up the space, whatever space it is. So you have everything that you need here. You have your water closet, you have your floating sink, and again, what's missing is the vanity mirror. <laughs> Same with bedroom number one. <laughs> make sure that they're ready before you move in. Let's go. Hmm, which room should we check first? Okay, let's check bedroom number three. All right, so again, similar, almost similar layout with bedroom number one. So you have your built-in cabinet right behind Brian, and then you're surrounded with windows. So really nice when you open it up, let the natural ventilation in, and again, you have your AC. Wow, okay, really smooth. So here in your toilet and bath. So it's almost the same tile that they use, same similar color. They did not change it up. So almost the same fixtures. Bedroom number three, guys. Let's go. Let me pull you inside the master bedroom. So we're walking through the walk-through closet. So you have closet on the side. And then here we are in your master bedroom. So this is nicely spaced. And you have to appreciate how beautiful this cathedral-like um, cove ceiling. And then gotta love that lighting fixture. It's kind of confusing from this angle, but it makes sense when you stand right underneath it. Okay, you have to take a good look. And now let me take you to the master toilet and bath. Okay, what I like about this is they change up the choice of the tiles they used. So as to, you know, separate which one is the master toilet and bath and the regular bedroom toilet and bath. 
So this is much, much bigger than the shower area from the regular bedrooms. And yeah, I like that they changed it up. The floating sink has a laminated wooden look. Goes well with the color of the cabinet too. And now, we are done. Kidding, okay. This is not just your closet space, okay? We have a mini walk-in closet. So here it is, more storage for you. And I love the recessed lighting. So it's gonna add so much mood in the area when you're choosing your outfit for the day, right? Okay, so now guys, okay, this is one of my favorite parts of the house. So the master bedroom has its own access to the balcony. Wow. Okay, so this is really nice, especially when you wake up early in the morning, you have that beautiful view of the courtyard. Wow. What do you think is missing, guys? A cup of coffee or maybe, you know, a loved one to talk to. Nice, right? Wow. Let me know in the comment section if this is your favorite part of this house. The view of the beautiful courtyard. Nice. And now that we're done with the entire tour of the first and the second level, guys, you know the drill. I'll be inviting you again on the first floor so we could chit-chat some more. Let's go! guys thank you for following me again so let's do a quick recap of the property details so this property sits on a 225 square meter lot area with a total floor area of 300 square meters with four bedrooms two car carport a lavish and landscape garden and an expansive lanai what else are you looking for okay so before i let you go guys please don't forget to click subscribe to av properties official youtube channel please don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified whenever we drop our fresh videos here on youtube you can also check us out on facebook and on instagram and if you want to see our complete list of property listings you can head on to www.avpropertiescorp.com this has been Apple Grace. Thank you so much for staying with us up until this point of the house tour. Guys, we want to see you on the next one. So bye for now.